Hey y'all, I'm Crystal and welcome back to my Texas garden. Today, I'm going to be planting the seeds for my Southeast Texas fall garden. Now, if you're new around here, welcome. And if you're all about gardening naturally, well, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to smash the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now, a typical fall day here in the South is not like any typical fall day in the rest of the country. I mean, let's be honest, I'll be frying our Thanksgiving turkey wearing shorts and a tank top. Now our fall gardens here in Southeast Texas look a lot like our early spring gardens. We pretty much plant the exact same thing. And our winter gardens look like other people's fall gardens. Did you follow all that? Now when planning out your fall garden, it's really important to know your first frost date. And if you're not too sure when your first frost date is, I'll go ahead and link a couple of calculators below that'll help you figure those dates out for your area. Now for my area, I know my approximate first frost date is November 25th. Approximately. I've seen frost dates earlier and I've seen frost dates much, much later. November 25th is 120 days or about four months from today. And even though I have lots of grow time, I mean four months, that's, that's a pretty long grow season. I do have a rule that I stick by when deciding what seeds I want to plant for my fall garden. And yes, there is an exception to my rule. There's always exceptions to the rule. Here's the rule. My garden will not include any plants that need more than 90 days to maturity. Days to maturity is the time in which I take this seed, put it into soil, To the day that I actually start harvesting the fruit. Notice I said start harvesting. Well, hi, hi, what are you doing over here? Hi, you just followed my voice right on over. Hi, hi, oh, okay. Come here, right here, come here. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, yeah, look, 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 look. Hello, hello. <laughs> Remember when I said there was an exception to the rule? Here it is. With some plants, you can actually start harvesting their fruits while they're still young and immature, and they're actually quite delicious. Cucumbers and zucchini, for example. While other plants, their fruits need to sit on the vine until they actually ripen in order for them to taste wonderful. Thai chili peppers and beefsteak tomatoes, for example. So when you're choosing plants for your garden, you wanna take into account how you plan on using those fruit along with their days to maturity. So if you're wondering why I chose plants with maturity days less than 90, is because I want my plants to come to maturity, start making fruit, continue to make fruit before our first frost date is expected. So if you're wondering how I came up with that number, basically I took 120 and subtracted 30 from it and I came up with 90. So I have four months and I took a month away. So I am not planting any plants with days to maturity greater than three months. So now let's check out what I'm actually putting in my Southeast Texas fall garden. So the first thing going in my garden is Roma tomatoes. Roma tomatoes are a determinate variety, uh, meaning they're going to grow all at once and put all of their fruit off all at one time. They have 80 days to maturity. Notice that I did not pick a indeterminate variety. Some indeterminate varieties have days to maturity upwards of like 110 days. Uh, the determinate variety, this Roma tomato is 80 days. 
I've got a couple of different varieties of cucumbers here. We have a burpless cucumber, an early fortune cucumber, a Parisian pickler. I know I just butchered that. Um, this one I only have like six seeds. So I am planting these primarily so I can get seeds for next year. This is a gherkin style cucumber. They grow very, very small. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a few jars of gherkin pickles as well. And here is another one. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I bought the seeds two years ago and I'm just now getting around putting them into some soil. So we're gonna try these out. And last but not least, these are national pickling cucumbers uh, seeds that I actually saved last year. And if you missed that video, I'll go ahead and link it for you above. Y'all, that's Duke you hear in the background. It's not me breathing heavy, that's Duke. <laughs> so next I have a couple of different zucchinis and a yellow squash that I plan on putting in the garden. These are 45 days to maturity. I'm gonna be putting some bush beans into the garden. This is a top contender and this is a wax bean. Now, funny story, we have never tried any wax beans. So, I grabbed a pack of seeds that cost me 25 cents at the Dollar General, and we're gonna try them. These bush beans take 55 days to maturity. I have two different varieties of melons that are gonna be going in, a banana melon, and this melon, the blooms smell like a mixture of ban very, very sweet bananas and cantaloupes. It's, they smell so good. And then this old time Tennessee melon. And finally, we have zinnias because flowers. I love flowers and I did not get my flower fix this spring. So we're gonna go for a flower fix this fall. Now that's just what I'm adding to the garden for my fall garden. I still have long beans in the garden. I still have peppers. I still have tomatoes. I still have squash in the garden. I have tomatillas. I have sweet potatoes and eggplant. So I still have quite a bit in the garden. So I'm going to be adding these in to that. Now here in the next couple of weeks, I'll actually start some seeds for my winter garden and I'll definitely bring you guys back for that. For more great gardening videos just like this one, go ahead and click right here and I'll meet y'all over there.